Hi guys, we are at the Flamingo Buffet dinner time and we're starting from the dessert section. Pretty average. That's all there is to it. And if you want to pause to see um, the names of the items, sometimes you can do that. Well, you can pause anytime. Sometimes you can actually read the names of the items. So by all means do that. I ice cream section, we just passed. You press the button and the ice cream comes down. Just two flavors. Vanilla and chocolate. Pretty standard for average to low buffets. Decent bread pudding. The dessert section is pretty much average, with the exception perhaps of this uh, made-to-order pancake section, but the ingredients are, in my opinion, kind of lower grade. Um, they're not fresh, and, and, and for, if you want a really good pancake, made-to-order pancake, go to Bacchanal, of course. You can read about that on top buffetcom or see our channel. Love this cappuccino section. You press, you can choose your vanilla cappuccino, your latte. Love it. I wish all buffet phase had that. Again, pretty much average uh, dessert section. Your fruit, I welcome this section here because if further along you just have canned fruit, which I do not appreciate in Vegas buffets. I think they can do better than that. It's a sign of a cheap buffet when you actually go and see canned fruit. It's actually very bad in my opinion. Um, pizza not very good uh, the best pizzas in Vegas buffets are um, listed on top-buffet.com and of course you've got your beef sliders and your hot dogs you know it's very much liked by some people some people really loved it um, average Mexican section nothing extraordinary nothing bad paninis you know not bad to have them I appreciate that and then you're obviously you know run-of-the-mill kind of American section mixed in with uh, Mexican and um, a few other items of course pork carnitas mussel soup it's all average really there's not much to say I wouldn't come here if, if just to eat here I would come and eat here obviously if you have a pass or if you have made to order uh, pasta section average again it's difficult unless you know there's a chef making it and the ingredients the initial ingredients are really really good but it's okay it's average everything is average it's fine nothing wrong nothing terrible you know ready-made pastas as I was saying I wouldn't come here unless I had a coupon or I was staying here, I wanted to eat something quickly, you know, or a discount of some sort. You can read about discounts and coupons and free passes on top-buffet.com. Chinese section, average. But I did like their Singapore uh, lo mein and very thin noodles, absolutely delicious. In terms of, it's very rare to find. The thin noodles are more difficult to prepare. And they have it here at Flamingo and they have a really, 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 really good version at Palm's Buffet. Sushi section, pretty decent, pretty decent for an average, for a small average buffet. Nothing to complain here. Great sushi is difficult to find in Vegas buffets for obvious, for mil millions of reasons. Uh, the best ones are, um, you know, specialized sushi buffets and I talk about that on top-buffet.com. And then you've got this section here, you know, uh, freshly cut melons watermelons which I like and then this canned fruit section which I do not appreciate but some of you may like it because it's dinner you have crab legs and other seafood dishes salad section is very average and that's all there is to it really now if you want to know which Vegas buffets are best for you for your budget your taste what you like what you prefer to eat uh, the atmosphere location read top-buffet.com we have a comprehensive section on vegas buffets with a hope an easy guide and of course tips and tricks for vegas visitors about everything in vegas